The year 2014 began with the fashion flock making the trek to Brooklyn for Alexander Wang. He brought it to Brooklyn. The location like speaks for itself. It's kind of like, you know, downtown, cool. Well, Alexander Wang was amazing. It was the first show that I've been to in Brooklyn, and it was just quintessential Alex Wang, super cool, a downtown girl. Donna Karen celebrated her 30th anniversary with a star-studded bash in New York City. It's exciting that it's been 30 years. So we wanted to celebrate New York. We wanted to celebrate the people of New York, the energy of New York, the streets of New York, and what could take that to the next level, and it was the real people. It was the people of New York that make New York. Nicola Gasquier took on the design reins at the iconic house of Louis Vuitton. You know, he um, really stripped things down and stripped things back and kept it very simple, um, but very connected to the house in more abstract ways. Celebrities hit the red carpet for the Met Gala honoring Charles James. What inspired this outfit? Mr. James inspired it. While First Lady Michelle Obama cut the ribbon on the new Anna Winter Costume Center at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It is truly a pleasure to be here with all of you today as we inaugurate this brand new center in honor of our friend Anna Wintour. Designer Jeremy Scott was really loving it as he made his debut at the helm of Moschino. I'm just really so happy to share it with everyone. I feel really blessed to have this opportunity. I'm just happy to see people's reactions, that they're happy, because I really wanted to just put joy into the world. I think he embodies all of my humor in his clothes. I love him. I've always loved him. At Chanel, Karl Lagerfeld stocked his shelves with double C branded goods. How can you not have a smile on your face when Karl Lagerfeld creates a grocery store of, of monumental proportion in the Grand Palais? The products alone with individual labeling that line the aisles, the fresh produce, the sausages, the cheeses, the sodas, even the, the Dallas ketchup. Before staging a fashionable feminine protest later in the year. I'd love to see a bunch of feminists uh, demonstrating in the street. I really do approve of that. <laughs> and those girls really look like they enjoyed it. While the CFDA recognized the best of the best in the fashion industry. It's an award that you get from your own colleagues. So it, fe it feels more important who gets it. I love seeing the industry together, to forge together. It's kind of a time where we all collaborate together and celebrate a year of fashion.